influence of the liberty of spirits upon events by leonard euler 1707 to 1783 from letters of euler on different subjects in physics and philosophy addressed to a german princess this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. Influence of the Liberty of Spirits upon Events If the world contained bodies only, and if the changes which take place in it were necessary consequences of the laws of motion, conformably to the powers with which they act upon each other, all events would be necessary, and would depend on the first arrangement which the Creator had established of the bodies of the universe so that this arrangement once established it should be impossible for other events afterward to take place than those which happen in the actual order of things the world would undoubtedly be in this case a mere machine similar to a watch which once wound up afterwards produces all the motions by which we measure time imagine to yourself a musical clock such a clock once regulated all the motions which it performs and the airs which it plays are produced in virtue of its construction without any fresh application of the hand of the master and in that case we say it is done mechanically if the artist touches it by changing the notch or the cylinder which regulates the airs or by winding it up it is an external action which not being founded on the organization of the machine no longer appertains to it and if god as lord of the universe should change immediately anything in the course of successive events this change would no longer appertain to the machine it would then be a miracle a miracle consequently is an immediate effect of the divine omnipotence which could not have taken place had god left the machine of the universe freely to take its course such would be the state of the universe if it contained bodies only in that case it might be said that all events take place in it from an absolute necessity each of them being a necessary effect of the structure of the universe unless it pleased God to work miracles. The same thing would happen on admitting the system of pre-established harmony, although it allows the existence of spirits, for according to this system, spirits do not act upon bodies, but these perform all their motions and actions only in virtue of their structure once established so that when i raise my arm this motion is an effect as necessary of the organization of my body as that of the wheels in a watch my soul in no respect contributes to it it is god who from the beginning arranged the matter so that the action of my body must necessarily result from it at a certain time and raise the arm at the instant that my soul willed it thus my soul has no influence upon my body any more than upon those of other men and of animals and consequently according to this system the universe is merely corporeal and events are a necessary effect of the primitive organization which god has established in the universe but if we allow to the souls of men and of animals the power of producing motion in their bodies which their organization alone would not have produced the system of the universe is not a mere machine and events do not necessarily take place as in the preceding case the universe will present events of two kinds the one those over which spirits have no manner of influence which are corporeal or dependent on the machine as the motion and phenomena of the heavenly bodies these take place as necessarily as those of a watch and depend entirely on the primitive establishment of the universe the others depend on the soul united to the body of men and animals and are no longer necessary as the preceding but result from the liberty as from the will of these spiritual beings 
these two kinds of events distinguish the universe from a mere machine and raise it to a rank infinitely more worthy of the almighty creator who formed it the government of this universe will likewise ever inspire us with the most sublime idea of the sovereign wisdom and goodness of god it is certain therefore that liberty which is absolutely essential to spirits has a very great influence on the events of the world you have only to consider the fatal consequences of these wars which all result from human actions determined by their will or their caprice it is likewise certain at the same time that the events which take place do not depend only on the will of men and animals their power is very limited being restricted to a small portion of the brain in which all the nerves terminate and this action is confined to the communication of an impression of a certain motion on the members which may afterwards operate on other bodies and these again on others so that the slightest motion of my body may have a very great influence on a multitude of events man however though master of the first motion of his body which occasions these events is not so of the consequences of his action these depend on so many circumstances that the most sagacious mind is incapable of foreseeing them accordingly we every day see the best concerted projects failing but it is here that we must acknowledge the government and providence of god who having from all eternity foreseen all the counsels the projects and the voluntary actions of men arranged the corporeal world in such a manner that it brings about at all times circumstances which cause these enterprises to fail or to succeed according as his infinite wisdom judges to be most fit god thus remains absolute sovereign of all events notwithstanding the liberty of men all whose actions though free are from the beginning part of the plan which god intended to execute when he created this universe this reflection plunges us into an abyss of wonder and adoration at the infinite perfections of the creator while we consider that there is nothing so mean in itself as not to be from the beginning of the world an object worthy of entering into the original plan which god proposed to himself twenty third december seventeen sixty end of influence of the liberty of spirits upon events by leonard euler seventeen o seven to seventeen eighty three from letters of euler on different subjects in physics and philosophy addressed to a german princess